Friday's testimonies were sandwiched around a press conference held by three of the inquiry's commissioners. Chief Commissioner Buller was asked about why Thunder Bay will only have three days of public hearings. Yeah, I agree. Three days that it looks a little lean, but just remember it isn't just one hearing room and we have a, a, a team of statement takers, so no one is turned away. Buller was also asked about the status of the Rankin Inlet hearings, which were stricken from the calendar in December. Uh, we need to uh, finalize uh, weeks with a variety of uh, communities across Canada. Then we're ready to, uh, and very proudly ready, to give our schedule for January to June. Buller said they're aiming to have that schedule ready by the holidays. Meanwhile, today's testimonies were held by members of the Naskapi First Nation of Kawawichimak. Alma Dominic testified that her daughter, Charlotte April Mienskum, was murdered at the age of four years old while in foster care. She stayed in a house in a family, Osment, Osment family. And there is a guy who was sick. Before the guy killed my daughter, he raped her first and then he killed her. The murderer, who was 17 years old at the time, was sentenced to two years in prison. Meanwhile, the day's testimony ended with Lucy Sandy, also of Kawichima First Nation. She spoke of how her daughter Alicia's death was ruled a suicide, but she feels like police did not properly investigate. She says local police were apathetic and ill-equipped to investigate what she describes as a suspicious death. We give you these truths that you want to hear, but we want something in return so we can have strength. We want answers so we can continue going forward. With the conclusion of the Maliotanam hearings, next week the inquiry will move to Thunder Bay for the final hearings of 2017. Tom Fenario, APTN National News, Maliotanam First Nation, Quebec.